Hey, replay viewer. Thanks for watching. Um, stick around if you want to learn how to easily slide into autumn and retrograde be damned. And feel free to skip the very beginning here um, uh, of intro and welcoming. I'm Lorraine Allen, and you can find me here on Facebook at the, my Empaths and Introverts page. And on Instagram, you can find me at Lorraine.Ellen.Scott. And I turn introverted empaths into powerhouse action takers in their lives and business. And I'm always sharing simple and inspiring ways so that you can get out of your head and into your superpower. Because that's who you are. And that's who I am. And I can recognize it in others. So thank you so much for being here. Wellness Wednesday. Oh, hi, Christina. Yes, I am feeling way better. Thank you so much. It has been, it's been, a, it's been a day. <laughs> it's been a minute. Um, I'm feeling way better. And I'm so grateful that I have all of my peeps who are sent healing. And I think it was Sabrina who was saying the heal, or he, the healing circle, because I felt it. I felt it all coming to me and I so, so appreciate you. So first of all, I want to say happy autumn. Hands up or pop in the comments. Is this one of your favorite seasons? Are you sad summer's gone or are you happy autumn's here? I Summer's nice and all, but it's often too hot for me. You know, and I'm up here in British Columbia, so it doesn't get overly hot. But at the same time, we're just not used to it here. Um, hi, Sabrina. I love you too. So um, autumn is actually one of my favorite times of the year. This, this settling down from that big masculine sun energy. And, you know, yeah, okay, so sad, but happy. <laughs> I hear you. I know. I mean, I think I still have that mentality of a kid that, you know, summer's gone and that's back to school, <laughs> even though, you know, we're not going back to school. Now, Renee loves autumn. Sabrina loves autumn. Yeah, there's just something about this cooling down and able to get into the that realm of layers and not just cozy sweaters and blankets and, and tea. Do you like my my mug? You're weird. I love it. <laughs> My copyright helper, um, teacher. Mm. Sally, you made it. Good to see you. So are you an autumn girl? I think you are. You know, it's, it's like it's the season of the witch, right? You know, if you can just embrace your magic and... The beginning of the year, I came up with my power word and it was magic. And I've been looking back and I'm like, there has been a lot of magic that I was thinking of when I made the word up or, you know, created that as my affirmation. And yet there's been so many ways that it's just popped up in, in, in ways that I didn't even fathom. And I think it's so, so, hey, Kimberly's here too. Hi. I think it's so important to have aspirations, but don't have it cookie cutter, supposed to look like this Polaroid shot. You know what I mean? I mean, we do have to have in mind something we want, but at the same time, we have to be willing to let that mold itself the way we need to. Because when we're too tunnel visioned, we're missing out on the magic that's going on around us that we're not seeing. And it isn't until the universe finally goes, she's not hearing me, uh, then they, you know, throw a wrench into the works or hopefully a horseshoe, which is better luck. <laughs> um, and really, oh, yes, and you get get your colors. Yeah, yeah. I actually really, really like Halloween. And, and because we were in the middle of moving last year, we didn't put anything out. So this year, this weekend, I want to start putting some stuff out, my glass pumpkins and different things like that. And it's really a, the perfect time to um, shift the energy in your home, you know, putting away the, you know, in your closets, maybe putting away those warmer or cooler clothes, bringing out the sweat, like, like 
basically in my closet, it's like too deep. So it's like, okay, those go in the back and these come in the front. <laughs> um, and being mindful of when you're making these changes or you're dusting or you're cleaning your house, being mindful that you're clearing the space energetically as well. I find it's easier for me to do housework when I come from it from a healer and energetic point of view than just, oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Boy, I wish I learned that years ago. But it makes a big difference. It feels better. It just feels in my body. It feels better as I'm clearing things out. And the other day, and I, I don't know if it was post-surgery depression or something, I was just kind of really kind of down. And just doing one little thing that to clear the energy. Uh, I couldn't do much at the time, but, you know, clearing yeah, the countertop in, or, or the, the dresser in my bedroom, you know, reorganizing it a bit. It didn't take a lot of effort, yet in having done that, it really helped me shift from where I was. Uh, oh, you did your ch yesterday. Perfect. Good timing. Yeah, you're right on time. You're ready for fall or autumn. Um, so this is the perfect time to just start making those changes. And you don't have to go, you know, full out do a little at a time. Don't let it be overwhelming. The point is to let it come organically and naturally. And if there's a lot to do, just chunk it down, you know, maybe get a little help. Um, do one or two little things in an area. Try not to spread it all out because if you're doing a little bit in every room, you're not going to see the results as, as big as if you um, just worked on one space or one little corner. That's my suggestion to, to you, you know, from a feng shui point of view and from just, you know, your own personal feeling better when you're in your space because, you know, we're still spending more time at home than anywhere else, right? So it's good to feel good when you're at home, right? Oh, Kimberly, moving in October, I want to clear out a lot of stuff. I'm looking forward to that and just clearing. Yes, that'll be great. Ooh, are you going to the place you were told you were talking about when I, you came to the store? That would be so cool. Um, so another thing I wanted to mention was um, Mercury retrograde is coming. Yay! <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that. And it's exciting because this is the perfect time. Oh, yes, Kimberly, yay! I'm so happy for you. That's fantastic. Um, this is the perfect time. We've got a change in season. Um, we're, we're falling back. Mercury is in retrograde and it's in the process of being in retrograde right now. Oh, and, and Renee's going to be moving too. Wow. So this is, there's a lot of good energy of revisiting things and um, retrograde is the perfect time to do those things you've been wanting to do all year, but you haven't even though it might be something new, and they always say, don't do anything new at retrograde, if it's been on your mind, and it's been on your to do list, or in your heart, or whatever, this is the time to start taking steps toward that. And it's also the time to revisit things um, and redo things a little bit. And it's really okay to start new things. Sometimes it gets you through the retrograde. It's not necessarily something that's meant to last forever anyways, but it gets you through any of those weird feelings because, you know, we got full moon that just happened. We've got the change of season. We got Mercury retrograde. And if you're sensitive to energy, you're going to probably feel that more. And don't interpret that as it's going to be too much. You're just going to feel it. Just be aware of it. Be observant. Go, hmm. I'm feeling that. Where am I feeling it? And when you bring attention to where in your body you're feeling it, then you can say, let's let's let that just kind of dissipate a little bit. Let's ease up on that. Come on, guides, help me ease up on that energy. Because we forget to ask for help. At least I do. Who else forgets to ask for help, especially in the thick of things and the heat of the moment? And then when things kind of calm down, you're like, oh, yeah, I could ask my guides, could have had the angels, could have done this, could have, could have grabbed a crystal, you know. Uh, but we're too much in here that we forget to drop down into our heart and then drop down into our root and ground. Yeah. Yes, me. Yes. Yeah. 
And it's okay because we're learning to do it quicker. I bet you you're quicker at remembering than you were before. And it just takes practice. It's always practice. That's what we're here for. So what I really wanted to talk about is, you know, about the chakras. Um, I think there's a quick way that really embodies introverts and empath energy is, and I was talking with a colleague about this. Um, she does like money, not just mindset, but she does money energy. And I'm, I'm going to have a conversation with her one of these days on, on a live Monica, her name is, and yeah, she's, she's an amazing person. Um, Sabrina, see, you remember, I'm going to scrub out the, I forget and put, I eventually remember. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Jillian, good to see you. Love your picture, by the way, your profile picture. It's beautiful. So, so the three, I mean, we have seven main chakras, as you know, but the three main ones that I think is empaths and introverts um, should really pay attention to are the crown, the heart, and the root. And if you've ever taken any Reiki courses with me, you understand that, and, and it's cool because there are two, two chakras in between that. All right, so you got your crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, root. So when you focus on those main ones, because empaths and introverts were often in our heads, we're preoccupied with worry about things or trying to go, okay, if I went over here and people are doing their thing and oh my God, right? So we're a lot in our head. So if we can just focus on re relaxing and releasing that energy and then bring the energy straight down to our heart where as empaths, you know, we're very heart centered. Often we may, if we're in a space, we don't feel safe, we'll close that down right? That's where you really need to actually broaden it open and strengthen your heart center because that's your powerhouse, people. That's your powerhouse. And when you can strengthen that heart center, you have this shield of amazingness around you that protects you from all the crap instead of being all inward and your, your, your aura and your chakras are all kind of tight and close. That gets people closer to you. But when you have, you know, it's like having one of those sumo suits on, <laughs> you know, those big inflatable suit, sumo suits. Perfect. Just to have that with heart centered energy. And then, Hey, Bren, good to see you. And then when you, when you, you know, released all the thoughts in your head and that crown chakra energy coming in and you allow it to come down into your heart and feel things and allow yourself to release what you don't want to feel and broaden what you do want to feel. You're broadcasting that out to everybody and not just from the front, you're broadcasting to the back and all around and it's great. And then you bring that energy down into your root center which is puts it straight into the earth for one you're a tuning fork of a magnificent divine energy that's going straight into the earth because we love her and she takes care of us mother earth but we're also grounding our energy in a way that allows us to be strong when we need to be to release the stuff we don't need like think black tourmaline a big raw piece of black tourmaline yeah Flush that energy out. Ideal. Perfect. So that's why I say just focusing on those three, because isn't that quicker than, okay, I got to do all five, I, I, all seven. Oh, I got to start at the top, work my way down. And then by then you're bored halfway through. It's like, I don't have time for this. I got to go pick the kids up or walk the dog or whatever. But if you just focus on those three the and, and you're powerful in those the chakras in between have a better chance of picking up on that momentum of that energy, that ripple effect, right? Or you may need to work on the ones in between too, but I'm just trying to give you simple ways, right? Simple ways. Hey, Nizreen, beautiful. So good to see you. Yeah, ready to flush. Exactly. That's one of the things I love about black tourmaline. Flush, flush, flush. It's awesome. So that's my tip is to just focus on that those three, if that's all you have time for, and be open and willing to 
feel other things in your body. It's not all about just those centers. You have shoulders, you got elbows, you got knees. I find often the joints are places where energy seems to really stick around. And we have chakras throughout our entire body. All of the joints, all of the connective bones, there's, there's energy there as well. They're minor chakras, they're in our hands, in our feet. This is why rubbing your hands together or clapping, you know, you can create that energy ball or in your feet by walking, you are creating that connection to the earth. And it's a great way to just be more aware of your body because, oh, you know, you sit for a long time, you're aware of that, um, you know, that tightness and then you can allow it to release just with your mind, just with using what you know. And a lot of you are Reiki practitioners here, so you can just use it. And if you're not, you can still use it. The power of your mind is incredible. But the power of your mind, including your heart, the compassion, and being able to ground energy with your root center, bam, you've got this covered. You really do. Oh, I'm glad you like the tip, Christina. Yeah, and walking to ground, being being aware of it too, like not stomping too hard, but walking. And as you walk forward, you are walking past, you're walking through, you're leaving the stuff behind. And I always have the intention that when the energy leaves me, it dissipates. I actually had someone in a Reiki share many years ago. She was like, you know, or do you clear the energy? Like we, you know, comb the aura. And then she goes, well, do you clear the energy at the end? And I'm like, well, my intention is as soon as it clears off the person's body, it dissipates. So she was feeling, because she learned from someone else, she was feeling that the energy just got denser and denser with each person who came on the table for the Reiki share. So we create that, um, that experience and and i'm not saying that because it was wrong it's just that we know what we know so when she was aware of that the next time she came she was just like yeah the energy just seemed to flow so much easier we have the power between our ears but we can't leave it there we've got to come into our heart and allow it to broadcast and yes intention is everything yes I'm so glad you're here, Nizreen. Nizreen is also a Reiki master teacher. And um, it's in Ontario you're in? I can't remember. We're like bookends of, of the world here. <laughs> um, yes, our intention matters. Absolutely. It To me, it's, it's the secret ingredient and it's not even a secret. <laughs> My secret ingredient today is... Uh, this episode is brought to you by Murchie's Tea, <laughs> um, coconut cream. Mm, so good. Sorry, I can take a little slurp. Yes, Ontario. Awesome. Mm. So it's getting late there for you. So yes, yeah, so that's all I really wanted to share. And as you know, Wellness Wednesday, I always pull cards. So if you want a card pulled, or if you have questions about what I just talked about, pop it in the comment. But if you would like a card pulled, I'm pulling from my uh, uh, whispers from Lord Ganesh and, or the divine energy. So pop that in the in the comments. Um, it is nice, Nizreen. Oh, Murchies is the best. I love it. It's um, it's loose tea, so I have those little little tea cozy things. Oh, Sabrina, I'm only funny because you think I'm funny. You know, when Sabrina and I get together, I'm telling you, we laugh so much, so much. All right, who's first? Renee, you want a Ganesh? You got it, girl. All right. So just tune in to what you need to, to know exactly what you need. And I think this is the card for you. Mm. Childlike expression. Beautiful. I feel like this has to do with you um, going through all of the things, preparing for your move, going through things you probably haven't looked at in a long time and seeing them with fresh, amazing eyes and being able to discern whether you're keeping it or getting rid of it. And I have a suggestion. If you love something a lot, but you don't want to keep it, take a picture of it. So now you have a digital version of it. But yeah, it feels to me like there's so much excitement coming your way now and you have such a big heart. And I know that this is the best thing that's happening for you. So there you go. 
All right. Ah, who's next? Kimberly. Oh, and you're going to make me choose. Okay, Kimberly. Ah, oh, you're getting a Ganesh one too. <laughs> Because you're the you're the other mover that's happening. So let's see. Does that sound right, Renee? Okay, good, good. Uh, Sally, you're good. You don't want a card. I'll pull one for you if you want. I have no problem. But yes, I'm doing well. Thank you so much. All of your good wishes are helping. Okay, Kimberly. Let's see. What do we have? What does Kimberly most need to know? Ah, that one. Hmm. Decision. There is something, let me get this just right. There's been something weighing on your mind. And when you can do, and, and the card pulls are all, always have to do with what I've talked about. When you can get that out of your mind and come into your heart and see that the choices you have it'll be easier for you to make the choice, to, to make the decision. Um, ground the energy, go back into your head, intellectualize, come back into your heart, and you will you will notice the difference. And I think the decision, to me, it must it, it's between one or two things. Um, you will know it because you will feel it. It will either feel like a yeah, or it'll feel like a ooh. So there's your answer right? Yes or no? Yeah. I hope that helps. Uh, Christina's next. Divine. Divinely guided. All right. Okay. I'm getting, oh, I'm getting everybody in order, so please be patient. <sighs> Just dropped all these cards everywhere. <sighs> all right. Let's try that again. You're welcome, Kimberly. Okay. Christina. What do we have for Christina? <sighs> it's kind of weird to get back into things. I feel like I forgot how to shuffle. <laughs> there we go. It's take the lead, not take the lead. <laughs> ah, this English language. It's, it's crazy. Take the lead. There's something that it's probably coming up for you. Somebody is struggling with something and I think it might be kind of frustrating you watching them, whether it's something already happening or it might be happening in the, the near future. You, It's okay for you to step in. And when you step in with love from a place of being helpful, that's how you can lead. As opposed to just going, ah, get out of the way, let me do it. <laughs> right? When you can come from a place of heart centered leadership. And now I said that, but maybe it's something different for you. That's just, maybe it was just an example I wanted to use. So there you go. I hope that makes sense for you. Oh, Sabrina, careful bending over like that. Actually, I'm doing really good. Everything's healing up. And yeah, I'm very, very helpful. I'm thankful. <laughs> And I try and be helpful. Uh, okay, let me scroll back up. Where am I here? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I've lost my place now. Oh, here, Sabrina, you're next. Divine for Sabrina. Okay. And then Bren and then Nazreen. Do you have a specific one you want, Nazreen? Ganesh or, or um, Divine? You can pop it in the comments. I'll find it. Okay. Sabrina wants some Divine guidance come on you guys come on guides usually they jump out right they're not jumping out okay this one. Ooh, i don't think i've ever had this one before i know i always say that but seriously accept what is dying i don't like this one <laughs> let me think about it Okay, well, it's perspective, right? We often think from a point of view that when something is dying, something is um, no longer part of our life and we get sad, but it's also just a change. 
it's a shifting of energy and it's all in how you look at it so i think the blunt and the blunt wording of this is to just you know shock you into ah, and then allow you to just integrate it a little bit again getting into our head ooh, and then come into our heart and sometimes there's some sadness there but then allowing that energy to ground a little bit and then see it from a different perspective because death is just a different form of energy it's just a different transformation so i hope that makes sense um bran you'd like a divine card too everyone wants divine tonight i shouldn't sing the gall of me singing gonna have so many gallbladder jokes it's not even funny <laughs> don't be bitter <laughs> oh my gosh i'm here for my own entertainment is that just an introvert thing where we kind of laugh at our own stuff i, I don't know okay brand seriously though serious fun here we go brand yeah the cards just want me to pick today Mm. admit your vulnerabilities because it's seeing it from a different perspective what you think is a vulnerability is actually your heart centered openness what you think is your vulnerability once you acknowledge it and admit what it is it becomes a strength because it's no longer hidden it's no longer a secret. It's out there for, for you. You don't have to like shout it from the rooftops, but just even by yourself saying it out loud, look in the mirror, say what your vulnerability is, and then you take its power away and you take the power back. That's what I think that means for you, Bran. Uh, Nizreen, did you comment? Death is a new beginning. Yes, exactly. Yes. Hi, Katya, of course, I am here live. You will get a card, absolutely. Um, so did you, oh, divine, okay. All right, all right, perfect, perfect, okay. All right, oh, I appreciate you too, Christina, thank you. So Nizreen, let's see what divine energy has to say for you. <laughs> correct your mistakes how interesting hmm I think this is is actually trying to be a little bit funny I think it's not getting into perfection mode and I think when it comes to mistakes and this is where mercury retrograde is really fantastic is when we can go back and relook at things from a different perspective and I believe the mistakes were put there purposely, thank you guides, for us to look back at it and go, oh, and see it from a different perspective. Like if you're, I'm thinking of like when you're doing copywriting and stuff like that, and you kind of, you're, you're looking through uh, proofreading and you see it, you see an error, often you come up with it, something that sounds way better than when you first did it, like a first draft. So to me, it's like, yeah, I mean, don't worry about being perfect. It's just a first draft. It's okay. You will go back and you will make it even better. I hope that makes sense. All right. Okay, what, what's OMG, Sabrina? What happened? What did I miss? <laughs> um, Okay, let me catch up. Hey, Georgia. And yes, Katya, you caught me live this time. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. That's what you really needed. Perfect. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, so can you let me know what, if you want a Ganesh or a Divine? Katya, you're first. Let me know. Hey, Louisa. Oh, Nazreen, I'm so glad you liked it. Thank you for being here. All right, so I'm going to pop that. I'm going to leave that up for a moment and see what comes. I'm going to take another slurp of my coconut cream tea. Mm. 
today was my second day at, at work at the shop. Seven hours today it was actually not too bad. But <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't very busy all day. And then I go to, you know, close and unplug you unplug things and it the open sign wasn't on all day it's like well people still came in but it was like i'm sure it would have been busier uh but it was fun playing with the crystals yes katya it is really good murchies mm, it is definitely as good as it sounds and smells wonderful um okay so here we go and louisa if you want a card pulled let me know katya wants a divine and then I'll get to Georgia and then Louisa, if you want one. Okay, so Katya, I hope you're settling back home after your epic adventure. You should be a professional photographer. Those photos were freaking amazing. Okay, okay, Katya. Oh, I got three that just kind of... Ah, this is fitting. Shine your light. Focus on success. Claim your art. I'm so excited. Katya is uh, creating um, a journal, I believe. Is it a journal or is it a um, planner? I'm not sure what, but she's using her amazing art in it. And I'm really excited for it to come out. Um, so yeah, so this to me is like, this is you getting back into all refreshed from your little vacay, getting back into what lights you up in between all of the things in the, you know, adult real world that you have to do. But this is what's coming to me is it's on, it's on in a good way. You are just going to skyrocket girl. Love it. Love it. Oh, thank you. I missed you too. I really did. It feels so good to be back. Uh, okay, was it a good card? Oh, that was the OMG, right? That card, right. I'm a little slow. Okay, Georgia. I want to sing again, but I'm not going to. You know, Georgia, Georgia. <laughs> I, I want to do that every time. Sorry. Ah, feels so good to get rid of all that gall. I can just be myself now. <laughs> uh, yes, it was perfect for you, Katya. I love it. Yes. Oh, it's a journal planner both. Yeah. Well, when it comes out, definitely you've got to share it. We'll do a live together. You can, you can promote and share it. That'd be great. If you want to sing, sing. Yeah, you don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> But I love that. Coach Katya. Okay, so Georgia, where did you go? There we go. You got two cards, girl. Interesting. Build on solid ground. So if you missed what I was talking about at the beginning of the live, watch the replay when I'm done. But I basically talked about the chakras, crown, heart, and root. Build on solid ground nurture yourself first that's where your solid ground is in all of the busyness you have going on in your life this is number one you are number one you have priority put on the airplane oxygen mask not the airplane put on the oxygen mask you start with you first it doesn't have to take forever in a day it can be quick and short focusing on yourself opening up your heart center and then you have that solid foundation that's going to get you through the day. Bam. Mic drop. There you go, girl. Uh, <laughs> we should go as the gallbladders we, we had removed for Halloween. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. What are you? I, I'm not even sure how that would look as a costume. We'll have to, we'll have to talk. Um, so Louisa, you want a card? Do you know what, do you want Ganesh or divine? Let me know. I'm going to take another slurp of my amazing. I, I think I just like smelling it. Do you like my mug? It's perfect for me. It really is. Mm. 
Yes, you're welcome, sweetie. You're welcome. Um, we all need it. Trust me, we all need it. Okay, Ganesh, absolutely. Let's do this. All right, for Louisa. By the way, I think I saw something come through in a notification in an email that got kind of screwed up and weird. If you sent it, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what happened, but reach out to me, Louisa, if you, if you need to like PM me or email. <laughs> Katya can smell it from here. Oh, okay. I really, I was paying attention. Um, Louisa, two cards for you too. Mm, love it. Beginnings. You've got some changes coming up, I feel, in your business, in your yoga practice, in your yoga business. There's some changes coming, I feel. Um, and spiritual quest. So mm, I think you're shifting maybe what you're doing in your yoga practice, um, incorporating different things, um, bringing some stuff online, I feel. I don't know. That's just what's what's channeling through me. But there are some there are some changes coming, and it feels super exciting. So using this shift in the season um, to autumn, using this Mercury and retrograde energy that's allowing to release the illusions of things. You are the um, maestro of your own orchestra. So even if Mercury looks like it's going in the opposite, it's it's just it's making a circle. It's just going around and around. So you all have that ability. So I hope that makes sense. And I think I got everybody. Anybody else? I think that was it. I so appreciate you all for being here tonight. Um, you know, I do work Wednesdays and I'm not finished till six. Sometimes I takes a while to get out of the shop after. Um, hey, Shannon. You want a card pulled? Grab one of these ones. You caught me in time. Louisa, lots of changes. Okay. Okay, great. Good. So that's good confirmation. Change is good, right? Especially when the cards say so. <laughs> You're never late, Shannon. You're right on time. Thank you, Katya. Yes, I feel so much better for sure getting my energy back more every day and all of the wonderful healing thoughts you all have given to me. I've really felt that. And when I did my self healing, um, I could feel all that energy just exponentially. If I'm saying that word, right. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll pull one for you, Shannon. Do you want to Ganesh or divine? Let me know one more slurp of my lovely tea. And um, yeah, so what I was going to say is sometimes I'm a little late on Wednesdays because of that. And then I get come home and I eat and I sometimes I'm just like, Ugh. I'm just too tired to even get in front of the camera. So I'm trying to be more mindful of just being present, being here because I love hanging out with you guys. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I always have time. Let's see. Ganesh. Perfect. Here we go. Moving into the season. Thanks, Bren. Peace. Here we go. Woo. Ganesh is jumpy today. We've got these cute little um, crystal el carved elephants in the shop, like um, di different minerals, right? Like None of them are coming to me at the moment, you know, like, like Unikite and um, um, Spotted Jasper and different things like that. He, it's, they're so cute. I'm surprised I haven't bought one yet. Okay. Shannon, clear your energy. I swear you've had this card before. I just, I think you've had this card before. Time to do a big, deep clearing of your energy. And the nice thing is, is it doesn't have to take long. Um, and if you watch the replay and talking about the chakras that I mentioned, it uh, will definitely be quick and easy. And I, it feels like clearing your energy 
isn't just a one-time thing. It's like you need to do it for you need to do it every a little bit every day for the next little while, I feel. And that's going to help you um, dealing with all this excess energy and being clear enough so you can do the things you want to do, you're meant to do, and you need to do. So there you go. Um, yeah, they are cute. They're the cutest little things. I'm going to have to get one. I've uh, been feeling dank energy and clearing it daily. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? And it's okay. Allow it to be what it is and just clear it. And the more you kind of clear a little bit every day, it'll get easier and easier each time. All right. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. You have been um, just fantastic. It's been It's been fun hanging out. And we'll definitely see you next Wellness Wednesday. And um, oh, thank you. I accept all the healing energy and I send it back threefold. So have a fantastic night, everybody. We'll see you next time. Peace.